Hello guys and welcome. Welcome to this live broadcast. So basically I want to offer some or some places where you can get information and that information on the COVID-19 pandemic because what I've noticed from the people that I talk to is that most of them are getting their information from the news sources which is fine but mostly for the headlines and I think the best way to get the best information is to go through Google Scholar and I'm just going to launch Google Scholar here and when you're on the Google Scholar website you will notice that they have here the CDC uh, the NEJM, the JAMA, the Lancet, Cell, BMJ, MedRx4, Meg14, Meg R14, the Wiley, uh, Oxford, Elsevier, Science and Nature. So I'm just going to go to the CDC to begin with so i can show you what information you can get so the cdc is the center for disease control and prevention uh, it's an american website it's run by the american government and you'll find information on the coronavirus novel coronavirus reports and here are some of the articles high sars cov2 attack rate following exposure at choir practice Kegit county in washington March 2020 and if you click on that link it'll take you to a scientific paper and again it's high SARS-CoV-2 attack rate following exposure at a choir practice Skagit County in Washington March 2020 and you can see here you've got the names of the people that carried out the research so this is a scientific paper and you can see the author affiliations here if you want to do some critical analysis before you read it uh, you can view suggest a citation click on that that will give you these the suggestions so suggested citation is Hama Hamna L double P Capron I at L high size cop 2 attack rate following exposure at a choir practice blah 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 and then you've got the, the website there so you can read through this uh, what is already known about this topic super spreading events involving SARS-CoV-2 the virus um, that causes COVID-19 has been, rep been reported so what is added to by this report well following a two and a half hour uh, choir practice attended by 61 persons including a symptomatic index patient 32 confirmed and 20 probable uh, secondary COVID-19 cases occurred the attack rate was 53 percent 53.3 percent to 86.7 percent three patients were hospitalized and two died transmission was likely facilitated by close proximity within six feet during choir practice and augmented by the act of singing so what are the implications for public health practice the potential for super spread events underscores the importance of physical uh, distancing including avoiding gathering in large groups to control the spread of COVID-19 enhancing community awareness can, can encourage symptomatic persons and contacts of ill persons to isolate or self-quarantine to prevent ongoing transmission so you see there's a diagram of the people during the choir practice etc and then you've got the rest of the findings of this investigation which you can always read through so i'm going to go back and show you some of the stories which are there so March 11th, 2020, early release, identification and monitoring of international travelers during the initial phase of an outbreak of COVID-19, California, uh, February 3 to March 17, 2020. So these are just some of the things you can find there. So I'm going to go back to Google Scholar and just show you. Um, so I've just shown you the CDC and what you can find there. And there's the NEJM 
which is loading. So that's the New England Journal of Medicine, another reputable site where you can find the latest information. And most of it right now, to be honest, concerns COVID-19. So all general content related to the COVID-19 pandemic is freely available here. So if you want to know more, send more scientific papers here, use of stroke imaging during the COVID-19 pandemic stroke in young patients with COVID-19. So you can click on that and it'll give, come up with a story. So the rapidly, to rapidly communicate information on the global effort against COVID-19, the journal has initiated a series of case reports that offer important teaching points or novel findings, etc. We report five cases of large scale stroke patients younger than 50 years of age who presented to our health system in New York City, severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2, SARS-CoV-2 infection was diagnosed in all five patients. So that's another place where you can find information. And also if you go here, if you can see the, they've also got diagrams, tables, clinical characteristics of five young patients presenting with, uh, with large vessel stroke. So if I go back to Google Scholar, I'll show you the next website, the JAMA, okay, the JA or JAMA network, here again, um, featured is development of validation and validation of a clinical risk score to predict the occurrence of critical illness in hospitalized patients with COVID-19 and this is uh, May 12, 2020. So again, you can go on this website, the JAMA network, it's all journals. So you can have some, uh, you can check for the uh, scientific literature on COVID-19 on this website as well. Okay, the next one is the Lancet. The Lancet is another reputable website. So to assist, uh, this is just about coronavirus as well. Latest correspondent, latest content, organ procurement and transmission during COVID-19 pandemic. So what's happening with organ, uh, organ um, procurement and transplantation? And they are looking here at things like transplantation of kidneys, livers, lungs, and hearts. And how, if you look here, you will see that this is COVID-19 starting in about February, around February 28th. And as COVID-19 is rising, the number of transplanted organ per day has been slowing. It rose a little bit there, then it's come down again, and it has its lowest. Okay, you can see that. So again, if you want the PDF, you can click on that. And it's called the PDF for the same story, organ procurement and transplantation during the COVID-19 pandemic. And you can, you can even just um, clip this. If you've got Evernote on your computer, you can clip this and you can save it somewhere on your uh, in one of your if you've got folders in your Evernote you can you can keep this okay so let's go to the next one we've looked at the CDC the NEJM New England Journal of Medicine JAMA network the Lancet cell let's have a look at cell so this is cell.com and it's talking about COVID-19. How cell press is working with researchers impacted by COVID-19. At this extraordinary and difficult time for all of us, we at cell press would like to share with you some of the steps we are taking to support the research community. So some selected cell papers here, articles about the current outbreak recently published cancer research after COVID-19, where do we go from here? 
validation of predictors of disease severity and outcomes in COVID-19 patients, a descriptive and retrospective study. And this reads very much like a scientific paper. If you click on that, it'll take you to this website. Um, and you've got an abstract there, severity and outcome of COVID-19 cases have been associated with percentage of circulating lymphocytes, lymph percentage, levels of C-reactive protein CRP, interleukin-6, IL-6, procalcitonin, PCT, lactic acid LA, and viral load, ORF1, ABCT. However, the predictive power of each of these indicators in disease classification and prognosis um, remains largely unclear. What are the findings? CRP, PCT, EO6, limb percentage, and ORF1, ABCT were significantly altered between survivors and non-survivors. Okay, and there are some conclusions. So a graphical abstract, you can have a look at that and make up your own conclusions. So let's go to the next one, that was cell.com. Next one is the British Medical Journal, the BMJ. And all, again on the BMJ, you will find information on coronavirus. There is, uh, the guidance is divided into education, management, training, uh, patient information, and coronavirus around the world. So it depends on exactly what you wanna do. If you want to be educated, a remote assessment in primary care, a practical guide for UK GPs. And here's some information on that. What you need to know, consider COVID-19 infection in anyone with a new continuous cough temperature uh, greater or equal to 37.8 degrees Celsius, flu-like illness, pneumonia, or breathlessness. So if you are a GP and you need information on what to look out for, here is some bullet points to help you. Any person with a new continuous cough and or high temperature must self-isolate for seven days from the onset of symptoms and asymptomatic household members should stay at home for 14 days. Okay, so this is advice that's taken from the government and public health england and there's information of pro personal protective equipment ppe um, when seeing patients suspected of covid19 or unwell and require in-person assessment wear ppe and separate the consultation in time or place from other patients in the surgery subject to lo local risk assessment ppe may also be indicated for routine medical work regardless of the patient status in settings where they sustain transmission of COVID-19. Okay, so that was the BMJ. Moving on to nature. Coronavirus to support agent research, etc, etc. Um, Nature.com is providing more and more information on the SARS-CoV-2 or COVID-19 research. So the latest is that structural basis for the inhibition of SARS-CoV-2 main protease by anti-neoplastic drug Camofer. A crystal structure of, of SARS-CoV-2 with inhibitor Camofer reveals the mechanism of action of this compound and opens the way to develop more potent drug. By the names here, you can tell this one is probably uh, research that's been done in China and then you've got a human monoclonal antibody blocking SARS-CoV-2 infection and you can, as you can see all the all, all of them have to do with coronavirus influenza SARS-CoV-2 the ACE2 receptors which are attacked by which are the sites of entry for the SARS-CoV-2 the structural basis for receptor recognition by SARS-CoV-2 CRISPR case 12, CAS 12 based detection of SARS CoV 2. That's an interesting one to do with CRISPR, the technology that would help us to 
go right into the DNA and make some changes that could probably help. An outbreak of beta coronavirus severe acute respiratory syndrome, SARS-CoV-2 began in Wuhan, China in December 2019, etc. Okay, so that was uh, nature, then science is the next one, all from through Google Scholar, by the way. If you go through the normal Google, you're not going to find uh, this kind of information. You would have to search for it. It will probably come up eventually, but it's also going to be mixed up with all sorts of stuff which is not of a scientific research nature. So coronavirus, the church commentary and news on science.org, sciencemag.org, ethics and governance for digital disease surveillance, a strategic approach to COVID-19 vaccine research and development. So as, as you can see, uh, there's a lot here. Also on COVID-19, a strategic approach to COVID-19 vaccine research and development. So they're talking about a vaccine. There's an unprecedented need to manufacture and distribute enough safe and effective vaccine to immunize an extraordinarily large number of individuals in order to protect the entire globe community from the continual threat of morbidity and mortality from severe acute respiratory syndrome, coronavirus 2, SARS-CoV-2. Okay, so you can have some uh, good time reading all of that. Elsevier, uh, another place where you can find a coronavirus information center. So everyone's become an information center. Welcome to Elsevier's blah, blah, blah. For researchers, uh, free articles, view 25,000 plus free articles. So you can just click on the and you will find some free articles. Insight into 2019 coronavirus and an updated interim interview. Not registering right away. An updated interim review and lessons from SARS-CoV-2 and MERS-CoV. And you've got the PDF as well if you wanted a PDF. And uh, as I've said before, if you get the PDF, you can download it right there. It says you can download the PDF. And I believe this one is downloaded. There it is. So PDF expert is trying to open the document. And you can just read through it. So the abstract background, rapid spread of coronavirus 2019, COVID-19. Okay, just hang on. Okay, we can actually read it from there. So the rapid spread of coronavirus. Uh, let me make that bigger. Uh, 2019 COVID-19 caused by zoonotic beta coronavirus and title 2019 novel coronavirus 2019 NCOV has become a global threat. And if they are saying has become, that must have been 8th of March and we're now in May. So this is not so new. Okay. So you can also look at the date and decide, but it's all good history. And it's not that old anyway, but in terms of how fast the this uh, the coronavirus has been spreading, a few months is is quite old. Then you got Oxford University here. So Oxford Academic Journals access to OUP resources on COVID nineteen, other coronaviruses, and related topics as part of our response to the ongoing COVID nineteen pandemic, etc. etc. There's a collection presumed COVID-19 index case on Diamond, Princess cruise ship and evacuees to Hong Kong. So this is another big story in, 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 uh, in the studies of COVID-19. And again, we've got a PDF there and you've got the uncorrected manuscript and then you can download the PDF. This content is only available in PDF, so you'd have to download it first. Okay, so moving on to the next one. So this is the the one that we've just downloaded, and it's all it's got that watermark sort of thing. Okay. So going back to Google Scholar, we've got the Wiley now. Another reputable place of scientific endeavor, COVID-19 coronavirus content free to access. Novel coronavirus outbreak, most 
recent articles, newest articles are listed first, so free access to perspective. Cell therapy, SARS-CoV-2, COVID-19, and James Lind. And again, they've got an abstract and they've got a PDF. So you can download the PDF. The severe acute respiratory syndrome, coronavirus, two SARS-CoV-2 pandemic, and resultant coronavirus infections, disease, etc., etc. Going back to Google Scholar, the last one is Mad R14. So, again, Mad R14 is is receiving many new papers on coronavirus, SARS-CoV-2. A reminder, these are preliminary reports and have not been peer-reviewed. So it's important to note that they have not been peer-reviewed. They should not be regarded as conclusive, guide clinical practice, health-related behavior, or be reported in news media as established information. And the problem with the news media is they are taking some of these uh, papers and then they are reporting them as established scientific information, which is confusing a lot of people. That's why I said, let me do um, at least um, a video just to explain or just to show you where you can actually get information which is more reputable. But also, when you look at that information, bear in mind that it's not yet peer reviewed, most of it, and it's still relatively new. So you've got to be aware of that. SARS CoV 2 conserved macro domain is a highly efficient ADP ribosyl hydrolase enzyme okay so there's a lot here guys if you read all of this you will be better informed instead of just relying on what the traditional news media is saying because most of these journalists are not trained um, scientists so they are reporting is biased towards your selling the papers so i hope this helps um, if there is anything that you want to ask, I'll be happy to uh, respond. So I've got welcome D Live. Please make sure you read our welcome letter. Blah blah. So thank you D Live. So this is just a message from D Live. Click to view comments. Let me click on that and see what happens. Can I drag it in here? Yeah, so this is just a message from the live, which is one of the platforms where I'm actually live streaming to. So I'm live streaming to Facebook, uh, YouTube, D Live. D Live is a decentralized uh, video streaming, video uploading platform, uh, which is decentralized. So it's based on the Bitcoin network okay and then i'm also streaming to um i think uh periscope so it's periscope d live youtube and my facebook wall not the page but the wall okay so thank you for watching if there any comments i will respond to them as soon as i do get them good night